Welcome to this rapid revision session on the changing life of the cowboy. We're going to do a bit of myth busting as well as everything else here, but we have to recognise that the life of the cowboy significantly changed. Firstly, let's have a look at the cowboy's kit, or at least this is typically what it was like on the long drive. Life on the long drive led cowboys to develop distinctive equipment for the job. Some of this has become mythical due to Hollywood movies. For one thing, many cowboys were black former slaves and free men. The lasso was a rope and loop and an, on a noose that the cowboys used for rounding up wayward cattle and pulling them out of difficulty. The cowboys required protection from the sun and rain. After all, there would be no shelter on the long drive. A broad, stiff hat like the Stetson did the trick, although the less iconic bowler hat was far more common. Heavy leather boots and chaps protected the legs from thorn bushes and snake bites. Eventually, denim jeans also provided hard-wearing and comfortable trousers. I expect you've got a pair as well. While his horse was a prized possession, the saddle was even more important to most cowboys. Cowboys spent so long in the saddle that they became perfectly moulded to the individual, who would not want to part with it, not for anything. He'd sell his horse before he parted with his saddle. Cowboys were usually armed to protect themselves from wildlife, Indians and bandits, although the amount of violence on the long drive has been somewhat exaggerated. This particular cowboy has both a pistol and a rifle in a saddlebag under his leg. So, why did the cowboys need all of this equipment? What was the long drive? Well, this is one of the ways that the life of the cowboy really changed. So let's have a look at the first section. The life of the cowboy. There were two main types of cowboy those that took part in the long drive and those that worked on ranches, which dominated later. Let's have a look at the long drive first of all. Cowboys on the long drive would drive often around 3,000 cattle to railheads and ranches. This could take between three and six months to achieve. Their working life was quite varied. About 12 cowboys would supervise the cattle in an outfit with an outfit leader in charge. The outfit leader would decide where to camp. The outfit was also supported by a chuck wagon with food, water and a cook. However, there were dangers. Stampeding cattle, especially dangerous at night, and long, as long hound cattle were a breed that were easily spooked. Wild animals like snakes and wolves could attack. Conflict with the Indians was also possible. Cowboys had to pay fees to cross, cross Indian territory too. Fights broke out when they didn't pay. And then came payday, and this is where much of our Hollywood image of the cowboy comes from. At the end of the trail, cowboys would have the cattle sold, inspected and loaded onto the boxcars. Most cowboys earned between $25 and $30 a month, which was a reasonable wage for the time. Having paid all in one go, though, the cowboys would then often have wild parties, spending all their money on drink, gambling and women, and then, broke again, they would have to restart the process. This is where much of the reputation for rowdiness and drunken behaviour comes from when it comes to cowboys. But it didn't stay like that. We've got some clues to that in the bunkhouse photograph that we've got here. Doesn't look especially rowdy, does it? What was a cowboy's life like on the ranch? Working life. Most cowboys were employed in the summer only. This made it seasonal work. The few cowboys employed in winter cared for the cows, digging them out of snowdrifts, breaking through the ice for watering holes, and often living alone. The spring roundup involved the cowboys fanning out from the ranch and finding the cattle. New cars would be branded with the ranch logo. Cattle often got lost, and the cowboys had to go and rescue them. The conditions they lived in were completely different to the long drive. Ranch life was hard work, few cowboys were older than their early 20s. And the cowboys lived together in a bunkhouse. At least this was more comfortable than the open range though. Some though had to follow strict rules. Remember those rowdy, drunken fights at the end of the long drive? Not anymore. If they were going to be living on the ranch, they had to follow strict rules. But they would try and organise the odd local dance as a few social highlights and a way of meeting other people, especially women. So we've looked at the life of the cowboy and how it developed, his equipment, his life on the long drive and how that changed with ranch based working. The image of the cowboy is iconic but somewhat misleading. The long drive demanded specialist skills and equipment culminating in a rowdy lifestyle at the end of the drive. On the ranches cowboys lives were more regulated and far more orderly. And as the cattle industry developed the long drive died out and work on the ranch took over. That's the end of this rapid revision session. I hope it's been useful to you and if it has, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
In the meantime, if there's a rapid revision topic that you're desperate for me to cover, pop it down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do for you. But for now, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.